Hey there, Tennis Anyone coaches. Coach Bill here. Quick video regarding feeding the ball, basket fed. So what happens is most new coaches come in and they say, you know what, I'm a good player. I, I can crank a forehand. And they go to feed the ball and they realize that feeding is actually much harder than they thought it might be. So just because you're a great player doesn't mean you're gonna be able to feed the ball well and you're probably gonna need a lot of practice at feeding. So a couple of quick things right off the bat. You wanna make sure to choke up on the racket when you feed. And the reason for that is that if you're, if you're at the bottom of the grip and you're taking a full stroke on your feed over and over and over, and now you've fed three, 400 balls in the course of, a, of, a, of, a, of an evening of, ten, of four or five tennis classes, your arm is gonna fall off. So I always choke up on the grip, number one. Number two, even though most of us play from a semi-Western forehand grip, you're gonna feed from a continental grip. And the reason for that is that you don't wanna feed a topspin ball to, to your student. Most students you're working with are, are beginner, low level intermediate, and so feeding a topspin ball is not gonna be helpful for them. So I'm choking up at the grip, I'm in the continental grip, which just simply means I put the racket on it on its edge and I come down on top of it right here, not on the side of it, right on top. So I'm in the continental grip. Now, I'm gonna feed a few to Jackson. Jackson, wave to the camera. And Jax, you've gotta keep the ball this way, okay? Everything this way. All right, so now as I'm feeding to Jax, there's a couple of things that I want you to notice. Number one, I am not looking at the feed. I'm not looking at the ball. I'm feeding it out of the air, and I am keeping my eyes on Jackson, the student, the entire time. Most new coaches do this. They let it bounce, they look down, they look up. They let it bounce, they look down, they look up. And by the time they look down, look up, they miss several things that they should be able to see their student doing. So I'm gonna keep my eyes up the whole time. My eyes are on the student the whole time. I can see what he's doing in between every shot. Crucial, crucial that I'm able to do that. Okay, that's gonna take some getting used to. When you first try to feed out of the air without looking at the contact point, you're gonna miss a lot. But you're gonna practice and practice and practice. And over the course of three to six months, you'll be able to feed out of the air without looking at the ball when you make contact on the feed. Your feed is crucial. So these are the basics, just a quick review. Choking up on the grip, continental grip, not on the side. All my feeds are gonna be flat. I'm not gonna feed with any spin. I'm going to feed out of the air and I'm going to look at my student the whole time and not watch the ball. I want you to try that, get that dialed in. Thanks coach. Coach is. <laughs>